I'm just complete ass on controller. So... Day one, I just started out by practicing my editing as I knew that would probably be the easiest thing to do. Some edits are more difficult than others, but all in all, editing on mouse and keyboard is actually pretty easy. Especially if you have auto confirm edits enabled, aka confirm edit on release. But this just makes everything faster for honestly any input that you play on. And I'm using this setting right now. I've literally had it on since it was first released, even though my edits are still very slow. Mainly what I'm trying to do is get the timing down for the edits and practice my crosshair placement for them. Like I said, editing on mouse keyboard is pretty easy, but as soon as I tried to crank some simple 90s, it was just the most painful experience I've ever had playing this game. Unlike controller, you actually have to place every build, so you have the binds for every build, and then you actually have to click a different button just to place it. And that just, that just threw me off. And I just hopped off for the day, cause it, building was just so hard. On day two, mainly what I did was just practice my piece control, and I did notice that my building was sort of getting a little bit better. Uh, I just mean that I was I was able to actually remember where the buttons are and place all the builds accordingly. I know it, I am horrible. Like the time it takes for me to do an edit, place the builds, I would be like just completely dead. But hey, we're getting there. The biggest piece of advice that I have for any mouse and keyboard player just starting out is to figure out your binds beforehand, um, just so you can like find some optimal binds that are both easy for you to reach and are just in general going to be easier for you to get used to and actually get good quick. The one other thing I did on day two was practice fighting against some bots um, in like this sort of box fight setting. So it wasn't completely like peace control, but these bots were actually moving around and fighting me. So that just gave me a little practice for my aim and like building combined. On day three, I reattempted those 90s, and you know, it wasn't much better, but I was doing better with the timing, I think. Though sometimes I would still end up under my ramp, which sucked, but you know, at least, at least I was sort of getting used to my building ones. The next thing I tried to do was, you know, put my mad skills to the test in a 1v1. And, you know, for the most part, I was just constantly getting shit on, but, you know. It isn't funny, man, come on. I did actually manage to get, like, one round, I think, which was honestly a huge accomplishment. Like, I'm literally booga, bro. Stop the cow! <laughs> what do you guys think? And I also just managed to sell this fight. Like, I literally had this guy full boxed, looking lost, and... Where are you going? You're lost. Dollar Tree headset, so free, freer than...
Nope. You guys get the point. I just whiffed probably the easiest shot like ever. Like. <sighs> However, I did see a bit improvement in my building under pressure. On day four, that was when I saw the most improvement. My edits were actually getting decent. I could do like single edits and I was even starting to do some 90s. And they were actually pretty good, like way better compared to day one. On day five, I decided to hop into some peace control and I spent a solid one to two hours in here just working on my mechanics and building. Movement is really important when it comes to peace control and this was something I learned while I was practicing it. You need to pick optimal building binds that allow you to build and move around effectively. By that I mean obviously you'll have to take off your fingers from your movement buttons sometimes, but as long as you can do this quickly and comfortably then it shouldn't be an issue. I also practiced my tunneling and I think in around 15 minutes or so of me doing it, I got the basics down. On day 6, I decided to switch things up a bit and play some zero build instead because my movement and aim needed some serious work and this allowed me to practice all of these combat skills and I was able to improve a lot. Just look at this 360 no scope man, like bro that was crazy. I would also sometimes hit some pretty decent shots like this one right there, but most of the time I would just continuously get destroyed like, bro, like, like I don't even know what I was doing in this clip and you know, being the Fortnite pro that I am, I managed to clutch up, totally. I'm not capping, you're capping. For the final day of this one week progression, I decided to apply everything that I had practiced over the course of 7 days in a pit free for all match. I think on mouse and keyboard aiming definitely isn't the easiest, but you guys seen this aimbot clip man? Full piece, 200. I also decided to try doing some double edits, and I think I did pretty good. I honestly cannot believe how much I improved in this short amount of time. Even though I still have a lot of grinding left to do, I can already tell that this is hands down the best decision I've ever made. If you're thinking about switching, you definitely should. It is so worth it. If y'all enjoyed the video and want a week 2 or 1 month progression, make sure to like and subscribe, or, or don't. In any case, later.